Hey, Congressman Nicole Meliotakis here in Washington. We have big news today, great news finally for the taxpayers of New York. One second, just want some people to tune in before I explain what just happened. But um, as you know, I've been fighting congestion pricing for five years, so <clears throat> this is very exciting what just occurred. Give it a few more seconds for some others to join us. Thanks so much for tuning in. Okay, so we just learned that Governor Kathy Hochul has paused congestion pricing indefinitely. This is huge. As somebody who's been fighting congestion pricing for five years in every possible way, and as someone who is a party in the lawsuit that the local elected officials have uh, from Staten Island to stop congestion pricing, this is fantastic news. It is a victory for all New Yorkers, particularly those that have to commute using their cars to get to work. The nurses, the doctors, the police officers, the restaurant workers, people who work odd hours and they, they don't feel comfortable taking public transportation in the middle of the night or they don't uh, have access like so many of us in the outer boroughs don't have. First of all, I think this is a response to our lawsuit. I think Governor Hochul knows that our lawsuit had merit because the MTA violated federal law, the National Environmental Policy Act, by not requiring a full and thorough environmental impact statement. The Biden administration rubber stamped the state Democrats and the MTA's congestion pricing scheme without requiring this very important study. In fact, they issued what's called a, uh, a finding of no significance, no significant impact, finding of no significant impact. Do you believe that? When still there are so many questions about congestion pricing, the economic impact it would have, and also how it shift pollution and traffic outside of the zone to the outer boroughs, preliminary, uh, pr primarily in the uh, minority communities like Staten Island's North Shore. Secondly, it is because of you, the political pressure that the Democrats have received, the political pressure that the governor has received to stop congestion pricing. We know that 65% of New Yorkers said in a recent poll that they oppose congestion pricing. This is a war on cars, cash grab tax, that New Yorkers from all political parties oppose. And so beware, New Yorkers. This is a victory. We should all be happy today. We finally got a win, but this is not the end of the battle. Because if the Democrats win November 5th, you can be sure that congestion pricing will return on November 6th. So let's get out there and work together to let everyone know across New York that we oppose congestion pricing and let's kill it once and for all for good so it never comes back again.